AMP has a large collection of components that handles all sorts of functionality. Ads and analytics, dynamic content, layout, media presentation, and social. So typically, when you develop an AMP site, you'll be given a set of requirements for a new feature. To find a component that fulfills those requirements, you will need to search the list of AMP components. If you know the name of a component, you can search for it by its name. And if you don't know the name of a component you want to add, then you can also search by its description. Searching YouTube videos, for example, will bring up the AMP YouTube component as the first result. Searching collapsible content brings up the AMP accordion component. Another way to find the AMP components that meet our needs is to use the AMP components reference page. Here's how it looks. This page contains a big list of components supported by AMP. The entry for each component includes the name of the component and a short description about its function. We can access a component's documentation by clicking on its name. Learning more about each component will know whether it will fulfill our needs or whether we need to look for a different component. In a future training, we will talk about what to do when no single component meets our requirements. If you want to see an AMP component in action, check out the examples area on the AMP site in the link in the video description. This area shows how to use many AMP components and how to create common features with AMP. Normally, you can also reach the sample for a component by clicking on a link in its documentation. Now, let's add some social sharing links to our Cheese Bike site. We have three goals for this exercise. Of course, we'll add the social share links to our site, but we'll also practice finding a component with limited information. And we'll use documentation to implement the component we found. Links to social media are common in modern web pages. By sharing content to other social networks, you help grow your user engagement. AMP provides pre-configured defaults to share your content to the most popular social networks. The AMP component we'll use is an extended component, which means you need to include its JavaScript. So let's do it. First, you locate the appropriate component in the AMP documentation. The title of this section is a hint. Once you've found the right component, click the name of the component to access its documentation. You'll add the social sharing links to the bottom of your page, below the AMP YouTube component. Allow users to share your page by email, on Tumblr, on LinkedIn, and on Twitter. Wrap the AMP components in a div with the class social bar. Give each AMP component a width and height of 44 pixels. Your solution should look something like this. And yes, the component we needed was called AMP Social Share. Now your page should contain buttons for the user to share your site. AMP Social Share is an extended component. Remember to include the AMP Social Share script in the head tag. Your script should look like this. <laughs> 